hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in Tokyo headquarter um i'm back again with another video but before we go into that i just want to thank everyone that subscribed to my channel and always come back to watch my video thank you so much guys i'm really grateful so today's video is about olori ashley if you don't know her she is the new wife of oni of ife and yeah she is the princess of the source and her name is ashley afola shade adegoke and she is from ilife and she has um she has a foundation where she helped the poor and everything as you can see on this picture right here she goes to some schools some orphanages even old people these are old women of inife she anytime she's back home she always gift them share them envelope money but first of all you write all your needs and all of that and you know she will make a plan write to some organization and to individuals that will make donation plus her own personal money and she will cater for the needs of the old the orphanage and she does it for elife ile 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 people yes so um we just got some news that people are accusing her of misusing the fund of the fund that was given to her to donate to the poor people or for her foundation and what i heard was that um she got an international funding like she wrote to a foreign organization in uk that donated a huge amount of money that they, they did not mention the amount of money that they donated to her and so people are saying that she is giving peanuts to the people that a lot of money was donated to her and she is giving people small money while she's pocketing some to be taking care of herself this is what i had and i want to quickly analyze this thing that i had for me I won't say that she's pocketing the money. One, this lady is a very she's okay. She's she's working, she has her own business and all of that. She's not a hungry princess. She's not like she's not a hungry person. And men looking at her, you will know that this is not the kind of person that will eat public funds. Some people you even donate, they will eat, you will not even see one there. But you look at here, so many women are here. If the if she calls their name, she'll give the envelope, and this envelope contains a huge amount of money that can they can use to start a business of their own. Apart from that, too, she visits um orphanage homes, like people, you know, a lot of children. Even most of them read something thanking her. You see that the children are happy whenever they see her. So if this kind of person is eating money, I don't think she'll be doing all these things because all these things she's doing. It's not small something and you can't tell me that if organizations should donate money um foreign organizations should donate money to her that she should just use all the money at once no she can't use all the money at once she will be using it gradually like you can't give um money to you know like if she wants to donate to all these people she won't just give out all the money she will do it bad 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 maybe if they need like um toiletries shoes bags everything she would donate to them even before foreign organizations started donating to this her foundation she has been the person doing it all alone by herself she would travel from uk down to ileife she will bring a lot of things for these children shoes bags toys everything even her daughter you can see on this picture even her daughter she's carrying her daughter along and i love that she is you know imparting her daughter in a way to show her that it's good to give out so people coming out to accuse her of eating money meant for the men meant for you know the public or meant for her foundation is very very wrong 
I wonder why people like pointing accusing fingers on innocent people. But when it comes to our politician and people that are eating our money meant for the people, the allocation money, nobody will talk. But now you've seen an innocent lady doing her thing, helping the poor willingly. Nobody forced her. So you did you didn't give her money. She knows what she told the foreign organization, if at all what I'm hearing is true. She was the person that did everything and she knows how to manage her foundation. Even if she chopped the money. And so she, did she chop all the money alone? What about a politician that is eating all our money? What about the ones that she's been doing with her own money? Nobody has complained. If, when she was doing it with her own money, nobody put eye. But now that maybe a foreign body has donated a huge amount of money, people are now putting eye and saying that she is robbing Peter to pay Paul. No, she is not. People should stop you know, accusing innocent people that are doing something for the poor. Even these people that are accusing her, how many how many people have you helped in your community how many people have you helped in your street how many people how many of your colleagues your co-workers how many people have you showed kindness on the road but when you see someone that is doing it instead of you should appreciate it especially this our some of some nigerians when they see somebody that is doing something good instead of them to appreciate the person applaud the person you know encourage the person no they won't instead they will try to talk trash about the person. They will start accusing the person. They will find fault. Instead of them to find, to talk good about the person, they will be finding fault here and there so that they will use it against the person. All this while, this beautiful lady, Ashley, has been doing all these things alone. Nobody has talked. But now they heard that maybe a foreign body has donated money. Everybody wants to pop news. What if it's just, um, what if it's just, 1000 euros that the people donated what if it's just 500 euros what if it's just 300 euros all the things she has been doing for the people of Ileife, especially the old women um the widows the orphans you know um paying some children's school fees sending them to school giving them books doing all over all those things people did not talk people did not calculate how much she was spending but now that um, they have heard that some people, do you guys think that this is the first time of foreign bodies donating? I don't know how they get to hear this one. I don't know who leaked it. I don't know who started the rumor or who started all these things. But um, we should stop. We should encourage her. She's doing a lot. The other time she visited prisoners in Ileife. She, she donated a lot for them. Even if she did not donate, but her kind words, the words she told them will, will change a lot of people's mindsets there. Some people, without even giving them money, your kind words alone can change their life. Your kind words, your encouragement can make them to move on. Your, you know, there is some words you use on people is even better than giving them millions of naira. So we should stop all these things that we, um, some Nigerians are doing. When people are doing good, you start, you know, finding faults here and there. But those people that are really doing bad, you will not say anything. People should leave this young lady alone. She is doing her best. This is my own opinion. And I believe that somebody like Ulori Ashley will never tamper with public fund. She has been sponsoring all these people all alone with her own money even before people started helping her so people should stop learn people should learn how to encourage people that are doing good instead of founding fault here and there you know so this is what i said let me come here and rant and i'll still um talk more on this but right now let's stop here what do you think drop your thoughts on the comment section and if you watch up to this moment and if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be getting notification anytime i post a new video thank you guys and god bless you